How's it going everybody? Welcome to today's tip from Thomas. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my favorite camera strap for street photography especially, but it works perfectly for any other forms of photography. And that is my Peak Design wrist cuff camera strap. So a little disclaimer, I want to let you guys know this video is not sponsored. I just want to share my experiences with the products that I use every single day. And I think a camera strap is something that people overlook oftentimes. So I want to let you guys know how beneficial this product has been for me in my photography career and experience and has allowed me to get the shots that I've wanted without worrying about my camera falling off the side of a building or on the ground all that horrible stuff, that nightmarish stuff that every photographer dreads, this product has definitely helped me with that. So if you like it, feel free to check it out. But with all that being said, here is why I love this wrist cuff strap from Peak Design so much. So let's get into a little bit about this camera strap. So this is what it looks like. Super sleek, super modern looking. Comes in this little handy dandy bag I use all the time. And it just kind of goes around your wrist like so. You pull it and boom. Just like any other wrist cuff, I just like the looks of this one, like the quick release on it. Super handy to get in and out of on a fast moving shoot. Um, when you're done, just throw it back in the bag. What else is in the bag is this nice little Peak Design sticker and a extra quick release button. So just in case yours starts fraying or getting worn down, you can just switch them out real quick just so you know your camera is always gonna be protected. You don't want it to snap on accident. So that's super nice that they give you all those things. And if you really want, you can just leave it in your pocket, leave it on your wrist throughout a shoot. You don't have to put it back in that bag or anything. You can just boom in and out. It's super quick, super easy. So it's very convenient and I think it looks nice. So that's a big thing with my straps. I like it to not only be functional, but look nice. And I think Peak Design with their wrist cuff did a good job with that. So the two biggest features I like on it is the ability to just put it into a bracelet and wear it um, until you need it. If you need it, you can snap it back onto your camera and you're good to go. And the main thing I like about it is its mobility. You don't have to worry about hanging it around your neck, your camera around your neck or over a sling. You can just keep it in your hand all the time. And if you're leaning over an edge, you know, if you're leaning over the side of something and you need to get that distant from your body shot or even just over your neck, like just right in front of you type of shot. And you don't have to worry about something, you know, choking you out or um, getting in your way. It's just wherever your hand is, your camera is, and that strap is, and all together it's one conjoined thing to your body. You don't have to worry about it falling off the side of a building. You don't have to worry about anything like that. So that's the biggest feature I think is good for in terms of street photography, and that's why I think it would excel the most in that. Whereas wedding photography, you know, you're not always shooting. It is kind of pick up, set down sort of thing, pick up, set down. I find that in wedding photography, it still works. I still don't have any issues. But I do run into times where I'm like, oh, I'm getting tired of holding my camera. I wish I could just, you know, let it sit on my side with like a sling style. But at the end of the day, I like I said, shooting that whole entire wedding, I didn't find a need to have a sling. I think my wrist cuff did just as good as a job as a sling would. But I think that as with other photographers, they might prefer a sling over that. So I think it's best for street portrait, quick shoot, stuff that you're on the move, stuff that you're doing crazy camera movements. So that way you're not always confined to how far your sling or your neck strap can get away from your body. So I think that this camera is best used in that sort of style. But in terms of filming, I think that it's also very, very good for filming because you can get those shots where you're away from your body and you're panning or bringing it up with one hand or down low to get that low profile shot um, without having to worry about something being around your neck and knowing that your camera is still secure because there's a lot of times where I'm doing like a camera movement that's far away from my body but I'm worried about maybe dropping it but with the wrist cuff it's already basically attached to your wrist which is attached to your camera which is attached to your body um, hopefully your wrist is attached to your body but I'm rest assured knowing that I am protected and my camera is not going to fall. And if it does, 
my wrist cuff got it. I think it's useful for somebody who's on the move, filmmakers, quick snap and shoot, photo events, that sort of stuff. Um, I do find that it's kind of awkward in terms of how it actually stays on your wrist. It doesn't quite fit right. And I don't think I have any small wrists by any means, but it just kind of felt, it, it feels good, but it looks kind of awkward. But in all its strengths and weaknesses, I think the strengths definitely outweigh the weaknesses in terms of what this strap is capable of and the mobility and convenience that it really gives you in the long run. With that being said, guys, that is all for today's tip from Thomas. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff because this next week I'm gonna be coming with a video showing you some behind the scenes of my last wedding shoot and give you guys a story about the first wedding I ever shot that I actually got ripped off on by the bride and groom. They didn't pay me my money. I was new, I was inexperienced. I didn't know how to go about asking for it. So I'm gonna show you guys that story. Hope that you like it. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Go create, go make, and go do something that makes you happy. Till next week, guys. Peace.